Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get mods. This is the easiest way to get mods. You don't need to do all this file searching, copying and pasting. Um, you don't need to install all this extra shit and have it cover up your entire desktop or fill up a folder. There's an easy way and it's free. The only thing you need is a Minecraft account but you wouldn't be watching this unless you had a Minecraft account or unless you were planning on getting one but the Technic Launcher or TechnicPack.net is the easiest way to get mods. I'm not sponsored by them this is just you know another video I haven't made a Minecraft video in like four fucking years but it's okay. Um, launch is free pretty much when you get the launcher it looks like this once you log in um, this is what you'll see when you first hop in, there's a Discord. I'm not in it, but you know, you can join it. So you're gonna go to mod packs, and these are all the mod packs that I have. Um, you can tell that I tried to get a nice tornado mod. I found a bunch. Some of these work, some of them don't because some of them can be a little bit of. They haven't updated them in four years, according to this one. But the beautiful thing about this mod pack is that, or this program is that anytime you type in a mod, let's say Harold Brown, a whole bunch of things pop up and the ones that the most that work the best are the ones that'll pop up first. So, you know, 124, 124,000 installs, 300,000 runs, 100,000, 240, 10, 20K. You do cars, Flans mod, you know, the Lost City. It's it, it, you want to have fun in Minecraft, you got to get this because with this you can pretty much do anything you want in this game. Like it's it's really really useful. Um they update it occasionally. I've had I've had this for like 4 or 5 years, so that's why it goes all the way down. Um launcher options. This is important especially if your computer isn't like super up to date you're gonna want to go to Java settings and use the 64 bit if you have a 64 bit computer my com like a gaming computer most likely everything will be in 64 bits if it's an older computer 32 bits it's just how smoothly the game will run um, memory the best Never ever ever go anywhere underneath 1.5 because it's just gonna sl be so slow and unbearable. Always do three or four, five, six, seven if you have a really high end PC. But once again, just nothing below two or 1.5. Um, you know, this shit doesn't matter, but the fact that it's pretty much it's extremely um customizable, it makes it better. So let's hop into a mod pack real quick. Ones that I have at least. Um, Pixelmon. <laughs> let's see, let's see. I'll just hop on this one. Let's see what this Herobrine mod pack can do. And the thing is with certain mod packs, It'll be in different versions of the game, so it won't be like the newest update. So sometimes if you get a mod pack, don't expect the new features in the game in them. Um, cause... What? Oh, it's right here. Don't always expect the new features in the game because sometimes it won't show up. Um, so as you can see, mods, Minecraft Forge, the Herobrine mod, Blah, 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 a whole bunch of stuff. The settings will also be, you know, um, oh yeah, the sound. I gotta get rid of the sound. Okay, there we go. I was like, what the hell is that noise? We're gonna create a new world, we're gonna go into creative, and then we're gonna be like, test. Alright. I like to talk when I do stuff, so if I talk to myself, I apologize. Okay, so we have Optifine on this. Um, I'm not surprised. A lot of these mod packs come with Optifine because that helps the game run a lot smoother. So, 
Herobrine. There we go. That's the Herobrine totem. Spawn Herobrine. Spawn Herobrine stalkers. Herobrine builder. Look at all these. Oh. Oh, it's on a uh, peaceful. Oh. All right. Look at this. <laughs> oh. Oh, what the hell? Herbrine boss. And then Herobrine zombie. But he looks like a regular zombie. Are they all just gonna... Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell? It's... Oh, God. Is it just spawning more? Oh, shit. Okay. As you can see, it works. <laughs> like, this mod is doing stuff. I don't, I don't know what else is in this game. In this pack, at least. Uh, uh, let me, you know what? Let me see if I remember how to build this spawner. I made a whole bunch of videos on how to build it, so I'd assume that I remember, but I could be wrong. Uh, redstone torches, because you know. And then, um, nether, uh, flint and steel. All right. If I recall, you do this, and then 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 you do that. I built it wrong. Fuck. I built it wrong. Well, shit. Okay, so where did all these... Where did Herobrine go? Oh. He's just breaking trees. The fuck? <laughs> the fuck? I'm gonna make a whole bunch of videos and now that I... Now I have this shit. But yeah, that's the easiest way to get mods. As you can see, it is working. Um, and it... One of the... This is definitely one of the best... Re the best things of Minecraft. The fact that... You have this ability to get some packs, mods, change up your game, make it more fun. So that's the video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.